there's a Jeep behind me. I don't know if you can see it. It's a Jeep. There's another Jeep right there. What's up with all these Jeeps everywhere? Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? Start of the week, Monday morning. I can't say I'm super chipper because it's Monday. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Left a little early. One, because the weather's beautiful for this early in March here. And second, gonna go get some coffee. Is coffee a thing in your life? I can tell you a little story about myself as far as coffee goes. You'd think growing up in Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes, four distinct seasons, feet of snow every winter, that coffee would be an integral part of my life at some point in my teenage years. But that would be no. Well, I moved to Seattle for college, and if you know what Seattle is, the wonderful home of Starbucks. I'm not making a plea for Starbucks being the best or the worst. I'll tell you my opinion on that later. But even in college, I barely drank coffee. I mean, when I say barely, I mean like a cup a year. In my early 30s, I started to drink coffee because it was a social thing, especially when I moved to Nashville. Didn't drink it when I lived in Los Angeles, but when I moved to Nashville, Nashville's got a big coffee scene, but it was predominantly dominated by the Starbucks. And I think that's where it all started. And yes, it started with the frou-frou. Not complete frou-frou, just a mocha. I liked having chocolate in the coffee. And then when I moved to Memphis, that continued, but it was a peppermint mocha. It was just tasty, and I, I didn't realize that I was becoming addicted to the caffeine. I started developing a taste for flavors, and did I like a more thorough coffee, a more strong coffee, a more bitter, a lighter? Now, I like a good cappuccino. I really would love to visit Italy and try some of their coffee. Their beans, their roast, the way they make it. Now I've got four different coffee machines at home. My buddy Derek, he's got a, uh, what has he got? He's got some pour over special carafe that's, one of them is in the Museum of Art, I forget what it's called. I'll come back to it later. He'll probably yell at me, you couldn't remember that, Mr. Coffee? And I'll be like, nope, you know why? Because I haven't had my coffee yet. It's 6.45 in the morning, and I'm trying to make a, me, trying to make my way through some bumps. What's your guys' take on Starbucks? Leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Do you think they're good? Do you think it's a good cup of coffee? Do you like the stores? How do you think they're everywhere? They're overpriced, the drinks are frou-frou. That's not coffee, it's just capitalism. Memphis Pizza Cafe, shout out, best pizza in the city. But my take on Starbucks. One, it's way better than anything you can buy at the grocery store. Second, where I live, on the outskirts of town, there are no good coffee shops. But Starbucks is all I have on the way in because they are everywhere. And it's not a terrible cup of coffee. No, not really. You are not the best pizza in town. Sorry. Dang, I've never been here this early and there's this many parking spots. Let me go park down in front of Tokyo Grill, which has got amazing food. You ever ate here, Memphis Mike? Tokyo Grill? Good stuff, man. All right, so we just had our cup of coffee. There's a Jeep behind me. I don't know if you can see it. It's a Jeep. There's another Jeep right there. What's up with all these Jeeps everywhere? I'm being followed by two Jeeps. Two of them, count them, a real Jeep and a car-based Jeep. Ah, Jeeps everywhere. What's up with all these Jeeps? There's a Jeep in front of me, a Jeep behind me, a Jeep to my left. What's going on? There's another Jeep. That is an ugly front end, sorry. <laughs> That's an ugly Jeep. And it's the new Renegade, ugh. Mr. Jeep is behind me again. What's the deal? Hello, Mr. Jeep. All right, YouTube, thanks for watching. Thanks for telling me about coffee. If you got any comments on coffee, let me know. I'd like to talk about it, talk about Jeeps. 
and my interesting love-hate relationship with them. Y'all have an awesome day. Later.